my name is Kylie Manning and I've been painting all my life, I think. My uh, parents were our teachers, so I don't remember a time not painting. I want people to be moved and other than that, I, I don't want to give a really specific intention for any pieces. Um, one of my favorite mentors used to always say what is personal is universal. And so if you can, you know, a lot of the stuff that I try to do is about capturing a specific time of day when the light was just so at dawn or dusk so that people remember a time when they were in a space like that. I, I think a lot about image making but across reference. So sometimes it's sometimes it's all the way back to Caravaggio, sometimes it's like a music video I saw yesterday. That's the another misconception is that like people have it or don't have it. It's a lifetime of being probably at best mediocre and maybe if you're really lucky spend an entire lifetime working on it you'll be okay mm. or like somewhere near maybe good <laughs> it's, it's really hard i think it's really really hard to not give up every day and every day that like people see you know just crappy artists just get really famous and blow up and like overnight it's it's hard to not be bitter and worn down and you just can't. The best thing to do is to make movements with groups and packs of people that you believe in and have a really good time doing it and then hopefully people will want to be around that. Hi. I thought it'd be really funny if I didn't get the door. <laughs> I just dissolved it. Uh, welcome to CG Burner Gallery. This is a traditional salon kunstroom. So, welcome in. And I'm curating this show. The opening is tomorrow night, and I am so excited. Despite the fact that most females installations for an exhibition are so much less expensive there's still all of this fear and description around how it's almost never a good investment this is Jay Miriam she's one of my favorite painters this is an extraordinary piece she was talking about um, the idea when you have a party and you invite people you know let's say it starts at 8 and at like 8 15 there's still like one person there things that I find mysterious how to make a piece feel really breathable, really open, really airy, and at the same time really finished and complete. For me, a big chunk of the discussion is not doing um, a show about women for women. Like we already give a shit and we already know what's going on, but to have a show that's curated that has tons of really famous male artists in it who are also real, advocates of having a show that has queer artists, having a show that has minority artists, having a show that has female artists. And I mean, they're smart enough to be embarrassed to be in group shows that are old white men now. Um, Matthew Miller is one of my favorite painters. We went to grad school together and these are hundreds and hundreds of thin, perfected glazed layers. So this is um, a very, traditional way of oil painting that um, creates these figures that really glow. If there's only a specific lens of what's valuable, then it's not gonna change. Um, Gabby Collins Fernandez does these amazing cutouts that are from prints that she then does drawing and mark making and Conti over and then prints those and cuts those out and then draws and marks over those and then prints those and cuts those out. So it's a really incredible rabbit hole of negative space with a bit of a connotation towards her family history um, and abstract mark making. Yeah, she's amazing. You know, that's a big thing that I'm trying to do is how does Grace Metzler have a dialogue with Andrew Quo, with Eleanor Ray, with Jackie Manning, with Jay Miriam, with Catherine Lynch. You wouldn't see Andrew Quo showing with any of these people otherwise. You wouldn't see Michael Samuels next to an X-Print series that's marking breastfeeding. That X-Print series is every single time they try to feed 
a baby. So that, that's not, you know, and it's an incredible work visually, but the story behind it wouldn't exist without motherhood. And you wouldn't see that in a British museum, you know, with my, having artists that go by they is this incredible progress towards eliminating what I think is the detriment of like the art's eye. You know, if we can fast forward to a time where he and she is dead, then art would really have a chance. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more similar content. If you'd like to continue the discussion on women in the fine arts world, leave a comment below. Thanks.